Hi. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a general approach towards the selection of the HTML elements that you want to convert into Oxygen Builder. Make sure that you have the latest version of the Nimbu Phi Chrome extension installed. Using this layout as an example, I'm going to show you the various approaches for making a useful selection. Let's start by clicking on the Nimbu Phi icon in Chrome toolbar. This turns on the selection mode. Had this been a tab containing Oxygen Builder, it would have shown the import pop-up instead. The simplest way to make a selection is to hover above the layout until the green highlight covers the area of interest. On clicking, the area is selected and the highlight now shows in purple color. Now, if you hit the snapshot button, a snapshot will be stored and the selection will also be logged. But, before we step into that, I will show you a couple more ways of making a selection. I can target the same area by first selecting a child element somewhere down the hierarchy and then making my way up in the DOM hierarchy by pressing the up arrow key or the W key until the intended area shows the purple highlight. You can also opt for manual selection. This is helpful with complex layouts to accurately target the intended HTML. Click on the M icon on the bottom left of the window and this will display a text input. You can type a valid HTML query selector to target a specific DOM element. Or, to be extremely precise, you can find your way through the DevTools' Elements panel. Right-click on the element and copy its selector to the clipboard. Now you can go back to the manual input and paste in this query selector. And look, it sets the selection around that particular element. So, you can choose any of these methods to target the HTML content that you want. And once the selection is final, click the snapshot button. This is going to store the snapshot and index it using the current width of the browser. Once you click the snapshot, it will momentarily show you the number of DOM elements covered in the snapshot. This number is the count of all child elements nested at any level under the selected element. There might be some cases, as I will show in this example, where you click directly to make a selection, and you might think that the selection covers all the content within. However, when you click on the snapshot, it shows you that only one DOM element is covered. This also leads to a warning message to double-check your selection. What happened in this particular case is that there is a single element in the background that covers the whole width and height of our target area and serves as an underlay or an overlay for the purpose of applying a colored background. And when we click to select, this overlay element got selected. In order to avoid this discrepancy, you can either click on a tangible child element and then make your way up the hierarchy using the up arrow key or the W key on the keyboard. Or you can also target the area using the manual approach as explained earlier. Now, if I click the snapshot, it will display a larger number of DOM elements being included. This ensures that the correct DOM element is selected. Anyways, coming back to our previous example, now that we have finalized our selection, I will click on the snapshot button at this browser width. If the target website has a responsive layout, and you want the result in Oxygen to be responsive as well, then you should drag to resize the browser window to target each of the different responsive layouts. Like, in this case, this layout appears suitable for tablets and mobiles. I will take a snapshot at this width. You can take more snapshots corresponding to an even narrower layout, if one exists. Let's take another snapshot at this arbitrary width. Although I may not end up using it. This is just to demonstrate a point that you do not need to start all over in case you took some unintended snapshot. At this point, I am done taking all the snapshots that I need. Next, I will go into the Oxygen Builder in a separate tab. Open up the structure panel and select the point of insertion. Then click on the Nimbu Phi icon in the toolbar. This will open the import options. I took three snapshots and all those are listed here. The bigger one, I assign it to the Oxygen's default breakpoint. The smaller one, I assign it to the tablet breakpoint. And this one, I am not going to use it, so I select blank in the dropdown. Now, we are all set. At this point, if you want to determine how many credits would be spent in the conversion of this data, you can click on the estimate button. Finally, I will click on the import. It takes a few seconds for the results. And here, we have a very accurate import of the layout. 
Everything that you see here, is editable using oxygen. And it is of course responsive as well. That's all for this tutorial. I hope, that this video has been helpful to you. Enjoy using Nimbu Phi with oxygen. Thank you.